I'm willing to bet you're not playing a whole lot of Pokemon Go anymore, and maybe never thought you needed a HoloLens to turn your partner into a zombie on the sofa. Instead, I think the most useful part of AR for the most people, the soonest, is going to be in cars. Now we all think we know what AR is, but let's do a quick refresher to make sure we do, and especially in the automotive realm. The first thing is A stands for augmented. V stands for virtual. That's how AR and VR differ so much. Augmented reality augments what you see and are engaging with during the driving task or maybe as a passenger. It doesn't replace worlds, that's VR, and is a much more difficult and disconnected technology to relate to driving. Augmented reality really does want to make the driving task more interesting, easier, or safer. Then you've got this idea of always thinking AR is visual, right? That's kind of where our minds go. Everything we've been shown is a visual augmentation. But AR is not strictly for your eyes. AR can also involve things like tactile input or auditory input, sounds that may be modified to focus you better on what's happening in the driving task around you. And finally, always know that AR can add, which we always see, but it can also subtract and make things go away. That can be a very handy trick. Right along those lines, take a look at what General Motors is about to roll out, making a trailer behind your truck go away. They call it transparent trailer view. It'll be an option using a camera view from the very back of the trailer, superimposed over your actual view out the back, and therefore makes the trailer seem to vanish. Going the other direction, Land Rover's pioneering a similar AR trick to make the front of a 2020 Evoque disappear. That way the tricky terrain that you're traversing in the moment doesn't suddenly hide underneath the front of the car. Jaguar teased us years ago with a similar technology to make interior pillars transparent. The hang-up seems to be the tech to upholster the pillar in OLED screen, not the camera tech itself at this point. Now, of course, most of us will still think of AR as a data and graphics overlay technique, which immediately brings to mind something we've had for a lot of years, the HUD, the head-up display. They can show speed, revs, nav instructions, but note it's usually not contextually placed. So it's hard to argue a typical HUD is AR. Lexus is perhaps the most ambitious of current HUDs. Continental supplies an impressive one to Lincoln, though not yet to the Continental. HUDs will go AR in the near future, though, using technology like I saw at CES in 2019 from Wayray. It seeks to make the entire windshield more or less an immersive, augmented view. Or even more futuristic is gesture-controlled full windshield AR, as Mercedes has conceptualized in what they call DICE, the dynamic and intuitive control experience. In the meanwhile, Mercedes is taking smaller steps. The newest A-Class and 2020 GLE will offer augmented nav instructions, but over a live camera view on a screen on the dash. It's a step on the road to that AR windshield. Now, not all exciting automotive AR happens in the car. A lot of it happens in the car industry. Look at BMW's pioneering app for vehicle configuration puts just about any configuration of new BMW in front of you without setting foot into the dealership. Win-win. Volvo's an example of how almost every car maker now uses some AR in the design process. It's also used in manufacturing, in quality control. And Bosch even uses it to help their techs do service repairs. Want to really go way out there in automotive AR? I'm not even sure what I think of this one, but look what Intel and Warner Brothers have shown recently. This is very conceptual. Hello, sir. Intel and Warner Brothers welcome you to your ride. They envision the inside of a car being one big augmented reality sphere, including a virtualized Alfred to give you confidence in the autonomous car's decisions and awareness. But there is a road closure ahead of us. And augmenting the view of the world you see as you drive or ride so that it kind of becomes overlaid as an ever-changing, exciting Gotham. I hope you had a pleasant journey. Please exit to the right. Enjoy your day. <laughs>